So guys, before we start with this video, go check out my website, it's live right now. Um, it has a really cool feature, you can check it out in this video, or you can go have a look at it yourself. It's rogueninja.com with 3 in the 1, obviously. I'll leave a link down below, it's also in the top right, so go visit it, I would really appreciate that. And without further ado, let's jump straight into this video. Hello guys, welcome back to another video. So today I'm going to show you guys how to change the key bind of, so that is, uh, with which key on your keyboard you will open the mod menu. So today I'm going to show you guys how to do that for uh, menu and for trainer V. So you just want to go download these. Um, if you've already downloaded them, um, same process. Uh, you'll just have to find your menu folder. Um, so yeah, let's just start. So once you've downloaded them, you're going to need WinRAR to unpack um, the .rar files. Uh, you can also use 7-zip or something uh, that looks like that. Um, but I prefer WinRAR just because why not. Um, so once you've downloaded them, you've unpacked them, which I haven't done yet. I have just downloaded them. So I'm going to extract them all, extract them both to a separate archive. There they are. So we can now delete those. So once you've downloaded them, um, we can just start. So um, I'm going to start with the menu, um, just because it's a little harder. Trainer V is very, very simple. So this is the menu folder. Um, this one is the one you need. Uh, you, you, if you've already got it installed uh, in your GTA 5, it's just um, in your OpenIV. Uh, same thing. You can just do the exact same thing. So this is what should be in that menu stuff folder. So um, we are going to need a menu config. So I'm going to right click it, click edit. And then hit, there's a whole bunch of random things. Um, but we're going to have to scroll down until we can find the settings uh, thing. So here is the um, open key value. The default key is F8, 119. And the key codes can be found here. So um, I'll just leave a screenshot of a keyboard with all the key numbers in there so you guys don't have to go to that website. So it's on screen r right now um, so you can change it. So let's say I want F6 or something. So F6 would be 117. And that's basically how you change it. So you just want to search for this. So um, you open it, you see a whole random thing. Um, and then you just scroll down slowly and then you will find the settings well, I guess you could call that a title and then here's the open key value and you can change it to whatever you want you can even change it to the enter key uh, if you want that so every time you press on enter menu would open when you're in GTA 5 don't know why you would do that but it is possible so again the screenshot uh, well not screenshot the picture of the uh, of the keys is on the screen right now so uh, I'm not. I'm just gonna save it right there. Why not? And let's move on to Trainer V. So Trainer V, open the folder you downloaded or not. And this file could also be in your uh, GTA 5 directory. Um, so again, exactly the same process. Just click Edit. And then here is just uh, this is much simpler. So here you can see the key bindings right here. Um, these ones have actually more options, so menu go up, menu go down, so these I believe are the arrow keys and the menu ca cancel, so that's basically the, uh, well actually no, I don't even remember what that is, but the main thing are these two, that's what this video is about. So the default open key uh, is F4, even though here it says F3, most people press F4. So the main thing you want to be changing is this one. So again, you can change this to, let's say you want Trainer V to be F8. They can do 119. Um, that also works exactly the same. So now we have basically switched menu, oh actually not, we changed menu to F6 instead of F4. But whatever the point is, you can basically pick any key. And again, the picture of the keyboard with all the numbers in it, um, 
is on the screen right now. I'll also leave a link to that picture um, in the description so you go, can go download it for yourself and look at it and just have a look at it um, yourself. Or you can just pause the video, it's up to you. But yeah, that is what I wanted to show you guys today. So if you enjoyed this video, leave a like. I would really, really appreciate that. Um, and yeah, if you don't want to miss the Red Dead Redemption series, the next episodes, hit the subscribe button and hit the notification bell so you will get a notification once a new episode comes out. And yeah, that is just how simple it is to change the keybind to enter menu and uh, trainer V. It's that simple. And with that said, that is the end of the video. And yeah, I'll see you guys next time.